Good afternoon, this is Latrina. My son reached out to you the other day to offer you a free video showing some things that you can do to improve your online presence. So this is the video that we've made for Jose Amaya remodeling. As he mentioned, there's no selling in the video. We believe that givers gain, so we try to make a few of these every week um, with the hope of bringing value and service to other business owners. Your feedback is, is important to us though, so please let us know after you've watched it um, if it was helpful or not. And if you have questions, let us know that too, so that we can take time to answer them. So what I'm going to cover in your video is content backlinks and citations and why these are important website elements. I'll go over your company's online presence and make recommendations for improvement that I might see. So content is anything on your website. It's the words, the images, the videos. You want to have sufficient content on your website because this is how Google crawls your site to figure out what it is you do. If you don't have enough content, then Google will not spend time on your website. You want to have at least 1,500 words on your home page and at least 500 on your back pages. Citations are found in directories like Google, Yelp, Yellow Pages. There's a sample on the screen. And the citations contain your business name, your address, and your phone number. You want to have as many of these as you can get throughout the internet and even more than your competition. This helps to validate your business. And then finally, backlinks are the placement of your website address onto other websites. So if you think about Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, any of those, those are when you have your website on those pages, it's considered a backlink because it's directing traffic away from those pages onto your website. The more backlinks you have, the more popular your website becomes. In fact, backlinks are so important that Google uses them to measure a business's trustworthiness. If you don't have a lot of backlinks, then of course your trustworthiness um, ranking with Google is very low and they will not send um, people to your website. So when we go into Google right now, I did a search for remodeling contractor Arlington, Virginia. This is called an organic keyword. This is how people are naturally searching for services in Google. What we're normally presented with are ads, usually at the top and bottom of the page. Two things to note about advertisements. First, they're pretty random. Second, if people have ad blockers on their web pages, they're not going to see the ads. The prime real estate area in Google is what I'm pointing to right here called the map pack. And this is where Google places who they perceive to be the top three companies for the keywords that were searched. So for remodeling contractor Arlington, Virginia, these are the top ranking companies according to Google. Then Google continues to rank businesses on the subsequent pages. You ideally want to have your business listed on the first, second, or third page of Google. As you move away from those pages, your visibility diminishes. People don't typically go that far off into Google pages to look for services. They're usually making a decision on those first few pages or here in the Google map pack. So that's a lot of information, right? So let me show you how this is important to your actual website. So first off, your website is very pretty, very nice to look at. Um, I like the images that you have here. Um, I also like the fact that you have a lot of your services outlined here. The one thing that you're going to want to do, though, if you remember, 1500 words <clears throat> on the home page is important. And your website is a good example of that because you have a lot of things that you do. These are all considered keywords. So if we were typing these into Google, these keywords would look something like kitchen remodeling, Arlington, Virginia, bathroom remodeling, Woodbridge, Virginia, like wherever you provide services, you're going to include your keyword as well as the location. Okay. But in order to be able to get these throughout your website, you need more content. In other words, you need more words on your page, at least 1500 on the home page, 500 on the back pages. I'm not trying to sound like a broken record, but if you don't have enough content, then Google will not spend a lot of time on your website and you really want Google to be on your website. Okay. The other thing you're going to want to do is save your images with a file name or a keyword. This right here, random keywords, I mean, random text is not useful to people on your website, nor is it useful to Google. So make sure when you save all of your files that you're giving them a name that reflects what it is you're showcasing. In this example, if I was saving this photo, it would have something to do with bathroom remodeling, Arlington, Virginia. Okay, so let's jump over. Um, Actually, another piece of information or suggestion I would uh, make for you is 
Um, I would add a contact us form at the top. It doesn't have to be elaborate, just a short form, name, address, I'm sorry, name, phone number, and email so that you can contact people in case you miss their call or if they don't take the time to call, at least they can fill that out. And then you can get back to them at the end of the day or whenever your time permits. Okay. So let me jump over to your stats real quick. So if we look at your stats in Google, right now you have a ranking of zero, and that's one to 100. And that's mainly because you have no backlinks. You have eight, but really that means no backlinks. And you have um, no referring domains, basically. You also only have three keywords, which doesn't make a lot of sense because all of these keywords that you have here, they're all, they're not buyer intent keywords. These are all related to your name. This is not, these keywords are not things that people are going to be typing in to find your services. So again, keywords are the things that describe what it is you're doing. Think about it like this. So you do kitchen remodeling. So kitchen remodeling is what people would probably type into Google, right? Kitchen remodeling contractors, Arlington, Virginia. That would be an example of a good keyword. Same thing for bathroom remodeling, Arlington, Virginia, okay? Any of these keywords, you had a long list of services that you provide, carpentry services, Arlington, Virginia, wood floor installation, Arlington, Virginia, plumbing services, Arlington, Virginia, okay? Those are examples of keywords. So take advantage of this feedback to boost your business Definitely put some more time and effort into your website so that you can get um, more um, traffic to your website. Right now, your website is only serving as like a digital um, business card. It's like having a billboard on a deserted island. It looks great, but it's not serving any purpose right now. You're not getting any traffic from people coming to your website. Um, if we look right now at your competition, you're the blue line down here. If you see, as I move on this line, this graph, you're getting zero clicks per day. Zero visitors are coming to your website from Google. However, one of your competitors is getting like 104, 89 visits. So you definitely want to be somewhere competitive. Close this gap and grab some of these customers for yourself. And the way to do that is to enhance your website, get more content, 1,500 words at least on the home page, 500 on the back pages, and remember to start adding backlinks out into the internet. Backlinks is, if, is a measurement of your popularity and your trustworthiness as a business to Google. So definitely you wanna be adding backlinks um, as much as you can on a regular basis. So with this, I'm gonna end this, this video. I hope it's been helpful. I hope the tips that I've shared um, were informative and of value to you. Um, please let me know your thoughts. Also, if you have any questions about anything that I've shared, please let me know that as well. I do want to make sure these videos are helpful and informative, not confusing and, um, and discouraging. So if there's anything I can clarify or if I can answer for you, please let me know. Otherwise, I wish you a lovely day and much continued success and prosperity for Jose Amaya Remodeling. Thank you.